disc, there is a hydraulic jack and pipe pieces. The hydraulic jack pushes the cutting disc to move forward to cut. Every time it cuts a distance of 2 meters, the machine will stop rotating. Then fill the empty part with pipe pieces. Fill the pipe pieces in front, remove the excess pipe pieces behind, and pour concrete to create a circular concrete structure. Continuously drill and pour concrete according to the specified route. After drilling through the mountain, a tunnel is completed. What is sprayed onto the wall is not water, but white sand. These sand particles will collide with the wall at high speed, knocking off the paint stuck on the wall's surface. This is the amazing sandblasting cleaning machine. It is specially designed to clean walls that have been defaced and hard to clean oil paint. What we just saw is only its basic version. The upgraded version of the cleaner will add water, which will be sprayed out along with the sand. Because it has extremely strong cleaning effects, it can not only easily remove graffiti, but can also be used to clean rust on metal surfaces. How does the machine work. Pour the prepared sand into the tank, filter it through a sieve. Larger sand particles will be filtered out, then connect it to the water pipe. After the machine starts, the pump will pump the sand out along with the water. The two will merge at the nozzle, colliding together onto the surface of the object to be cleaned. In addition, there is another type of cleaning machine with a similar principle. Just place it on the graffiti position. The integrated machine will also spray out fine sand because it has a protective glass. These fine sand particles will not fly around. After colliding with the wall, they will immediately be vacuumed back into the machine, cleaning and protecting the environment. So, isn't this very interesting? What would be the effect of applying a vacuum cleaner to the collection of fallen leaves? The suction tube opens its large mouth towards the fallen leaves and sweeps over. All the leaves are sucked up. But don't think that everything is over. The leaves that are sucked in can still be crushed. The combination of a vacuum cleaner and a crusher is the principle of this leaf crusher. It is specifically used to clean and crush fallen leaves on the ground. It can also be used to crush unnecessary dry grass piles. After decomposing the leaves into fragments, they can be used as compost to return to the soil as fertilizer. Inside the machine is a vacuum machine and a blower. The vacuum machine is connected to the suction tube. It is responsible for sucking leaves into the machine. The end of the suction tube is a four-foot knife head. Each knife head has a special sawtooth design on the surface. When the knife head rotates quickly, it can grind the leaves into fragments. Then, these fragments will come to the outlet tube. The high-power blower will blow them out from here, turning them into compost. Using this machine to clean fallen leaves not only improves work efficiency, but also turns weight into treasure. The most important thing is, the defense workers no longer have to endure windy weather to sweep fallen leaves. So isn't this very magical?